by a fellow worker, he asked me to allow something illegal to be done to uh, falsify some figures because we were in competition with four other like military bases had the same mission and there was a lot of competition going on so I told him no to get out of my office. So anyhow he uh, went and told the commander what my response was and next thing I know my civil service uh, uh, supervisor was called to the commander's office and and after a lengthy discussion with the commander she came back and she sat down and typed a memo for record she didn't tell me what it was she put it in her file in the desk several months later we had the inspector general's team uh, come to the base and they were specifically investigating this and uh, when they called my boss in she confessed she said she went and got the memo for record and presented it to him. Next thing you know, the general flies in. It's a very serious incident. So in the end, she was the one that got to blame the commander. He got transferred later, uh, made major, and eventually he made a lieutenant colonel and eventually retired as a full colonel. The only one that got punished was her. I don't know if they fired her or she retired. I never saw her after that. But where she was wrong, she agreed to let this happen, even though she wrote a memo for record. She should have refused to allow it happen. And uh, it really bothered me. A few days later, I just uh, went home to my wife and said, I want to retire. I'm, you know, I've had enough. So I uh, ended my military career and went into civilian life. But the, the moral of the story is maintain your convictions. In other words, if you know in your heart and your conscience it's not right, don't give in just to, to satisfy somebody. It's very important that you be truthful. In other words, by falsifying figures doesn't help anybody. We have this, you read about it in the paper in the financial industry where people uh, commit crimes or they falsify information such as the mortgage crisis we had in 